This Merkaz al ilm and Merkaz al Sunnah, which the people come together to worship Allah, and many of the Shabbat, many of the youth have graduated from learning the Quran, memorizing the Kitab al Ba'ath. And the Prophet said, Khairakum min ta'allim al Quran. So the Prophet said, the best of you is those who learn the Quran and teach the Quran. I wanted to speak very briefly about something very important regarding our youth and our community in general. And this has to do with the ways that the shaitan comes to us. Two ways in which the shaitan comes to us that we have to be concerned with. And those two ways, alhamdulillah, first and foremost, the first way is through shubahat. And the second way is through shahawat. The shubahat, alhamdulillah, is referring to the doubtful things. That the shaitan comes to you through doubt. And it comes to our youth through doubtfulness. As I, when I look around, I see a lot of older people populating the message. We don't see a lot of our youth. So our youth, we're losing. Allah Muhammad Allah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِنَّ الْحَلَالِ بَيْنِ وَإِنَّ الْحَرَامِ بَيْنِ وَبَيْنَهُمَا أُمُورًا مُشْتَبِهًا لَا يَعْلَمُهُنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ فَاتَّقَ فَاتَّقَ شُبَهَاتِ so the Prophet said that the halal is clear and the haram is clear. And between them is doubtful things that most of the people are unaware of. Most of the people don't know. But who knows? Ahla al Ahla al they know. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. So this shubahat al-habitabillah comes to us in many different ways. First is by not knowing the halal and the haram. So a lot of times when we find ourselves, we find ourselves doing something that's doubtful. We do it, then we ask the shaykh. Shaykh, is this halal? Is this haram? He's been doing it for months, years, whatever. So it's important to ask the people of knowledge to protect yourself, protect your family from the doubtful things. The second way, alhamdulillah, through the doubtful means is through the internet. And through the internet, we find that there are many things calling us and our youth away from Allah Away from our purpose in creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for what? For worshiping Him. I have not created mankind in jinn except for what? Except for worshiping me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us with a purpose. But when you go to the internet, you find that there's doubt from the Christians. You find that there's doubt from the Jews. You find that there's doubt from many people calling into calling into doubt 
our Iman, our Iman Billah, and taking us away from the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, Ahabat al-Billah, you have another danger, which has to do with the shubahat, the doubt. And this is the extremism, which is taking many of our youth around the world, especially in the West. That we have those internet websites, and we have those people who are calling to Jahannam, because you're only calling either to Khair and Jannah, or you're calling to Jahannam. And the Prophet ﷺ described them as the du'at ala abu abu jahannam. The people, the callers to the bab, to the, the, the doors of the hellfire. And we're losing our youth to people like ISIL. We're, using our, we're losing our youth to people like Boko Haram. We're losing our youth to people like Ash-Shabaab, as many of you know. That these people, are only a danger to us and the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about these type of groups that they will continue to arise. He said, "Al Khawarij ila bilnar." The Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. Ibn Umar radiyallahu taala, who also was Umar radiyallahu taala, he said, "Yaktulun ahla iman, wa yatrukun ahla ufan." He said that these people would kill the people of Iman. And what do we see around the world? Who are these people attacking? They're blowing up massages. They're killing and they're calling the youth to this, to joining this. So you have to have an idea about what your youth are looking at on the, on the internet. And what you involve yourself in. Involve yourself in khair. And that which is going to benefit you in this life as well as the hereafter. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If tarakat al-Yahuda la'inta wa sar'in thirta. Wa if tarakat al-Nasara la'inta wa sar'in thirta. Wa sa taftariku hadihi umma ala thalatha wa sar'in thirta. Kulla ha fil nara al-wahid. Kulla kulla mani hiya ya Rasulullah. Kala man kaya ala mithi wa kaya alayhi wa sahabih. O kama kala nabiyya wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the Jews would break into 71 sects and the Christians into 72 sects. And my nation in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And the companions, Rabbi Allah Ta'ala Majmain said, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? The Prophet said, Those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So we have a path to save us from the Shubahat. And the Prophet said, I need to be Sunnati. So we know that we have to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That we have to follow his path. That this will help us. The more we teach our youth about the sunnah and the seer of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the more they will love to come to the masjid. The more they will love to practice Islam. Because you're competing with everything in the society. You're competing with everything in this society. So if you do not take care to grab your youth and encourage them, give them some things that will entice them to come back to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then the other people will grab them. And it's come to my attention, alhamdulillah, that one of the things that we also face, and this is well known, by living in an anonymous country, a tashbih bi ghayr That we like to resemble those people who are not the most high in esteem, that, that they're not the Muhammad of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in dress, in festivities. So, now that we have a new year coming, the stay away from those ceremonies and celebrations. That's not from Islam at all. And it will not benefit you because the Prophet said, Men that whoever resembles a people, then he is from them. And do you want to be like those people, Ahla Nar, or do you want to be like Ahla Jannah? Of course you want to be like Ahla Jannah. You want to be like Ahla, Rus Ahla Sunnati Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is what we all want, and we ask Allah to bless us with that. So beware of those 
ceremonies and following non-Muslim celebrations because we already have our two Eids. Yaqfina hadha, that's sufficient. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi said The Prophet sallallahu alaihi said, "You would follow the way of those people who came before you, hand span by hand span, foot uh, arm span by arm span, even if they entered the hole of a thumb." You would enter it. And if any of you know how to find out what a thump is, the thump they live in the deserts in, in the Arab countries, and they live in a hole which is not a straight hole, but it's a hole that's difficult to get into. And when the Arabs, they hunt the thump, they use uh, their cars to smoke them out because they're very difficult to catch because they eat the thump. Some, some people do. So the Prophet Sallallahu made this, this similitude that we would follow those other nations. Because the Sahaba Radiallahu they asked, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, the Jews and the Christians, meaning that we would follow them. So by you uh, participating in these kind of celebrations, going to take pictures of the fireworks, going to involve yourself in various celebrations, that you're doing that which is displeasing to Allah Azza wa Jalla. And I don't know any ulama, especially ulama of Ahl Sunnah, who said that this is permissible. You only hear that it's Muharram because it is Tashbih. Ahabatibillah. The second thing I wanted to speak about very briefly is that we have to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his haq. That if we stay away from the doubtful things, and we focus ourselves and our youth on the highest thing, which is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to enter Jannah, then we'll have success. Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Kuntu radif al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al Himar, Fakal, Fakal ali ya Rasulullah, or Fakal, ya Rasulullah, a Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Fakal ali. Ya Mu'ad, atabi ma haqqa li bani wa ma haqqa li bani ya Allah, kutu Allah wa Rasulullah wa'ala. Kala haqqa Allah li bani an ya'buduhu wa la yushikuhi shayn. Wa haqqa li bani ya Allah in la yu'adhiba min la yushikuhi shayn. So Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala an, he was on a donkey with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He showed you how humble the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Mu'ad, do you know what the right of the law is upon his servant and what the right of the servant is upon the law? And Mu'ad said, Allah and his messenger know best. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the right of the law upon his servant is that he worships him and him alone. And the right of the servant upon Allah is that he doesn't punish the one who worships him and him alone. So if you want success, then it's teaching this Tawheed to the youth and realizing the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Finally, Habit al said to us, the Shahawat. That was a picture. And we know that we are plagued with now our youth is being drawn to gangs and they're being drawn to drugs and they're being drawn to the other Shahawat and Fawahish. And Allah says, Zuyna li nasrub the Shahawat that shawat or the, those desires have been beautified for the people because we all have desires but we have to do it through the halal we have to do it through the halal way so we have to provide those halal means for our youth as well and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said in the dunya halwata khudra وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ مُسْتَخْلِفُكُمْ فِيهِ فَيَنْظِرْ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ فَتَقُوا الدُّنْيَا وَتَقُوا النِّسَاءَ فِنَا أَوَلَ فِنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلٍ كَانَ فِي النِّسَاءَ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Verily the dunya, the light, is like a beautiful, something beautiful, a beautiful garden. And the law places you and establishes you in it. 
and he looks to see what he will do. Then the prophet said, fear the women and fear the, the dunya. Because barely the first thing, the first trial that befell, that befell Benny Adam was, uh, or the children of Israel was the women. And we know that that is a very serious and very dangerous thing in a way that takes our youth away. So then therefore you find Muslim women mixing with non-Muslim men and wanting to marry them, even marrying them, even leaving their religion for them. And you find the youth, they don't care anything as long as it's a woman. And they go and involve themselves with every kind of sin you could imagine. This is one of the great dangers that we, we face now, Allah. So the shaitan comes to us in two ways. The shubahat and the shahuat, the desires and the doubtful things. And it wouldn't be given this topic the haq if I didn't at least say that we have to look at ways to remedy this. One of the ways is to make sure that your youth, they have good husna surta, that they have good companions. Your youth have to have good companions. And it's not sufficient just that they come to the duksiga, but you need youth that also pray. Maybe they hang out, they play basketball with so and so and so and so, but so and so and so and so do not pray. So what do you think that's gonna leave for your sons? Or maybe your daughter, she hangs out with sister so and so and sister so and so, but they don't pray. So they don't remind her of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you have righteous companions, this will help you. This will help you remember Allah Azza wa Jalla. Which is one of the highest things you can do, is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask for all the Almighty to accept their good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Oh boy, oh boy. Like, come, come, rock. Oh. There's a camera, look at it, put it in one. And you go tuck. Oh, don't. Why? Just see, look, this will go tuck. Okay, try. <laughs> Can you do my roti? <laughs> that was your roti. And the cum broth. Put the right here. No, right here. That's the dinner. <laughs> Look, it's a man. <laughs> Look, a man. Apple, apple. <laughs> That's my dad. Now I need a picture everywhere. My picture. Where are you going? You play it? I've never been in a little bit more this morning. It's going to go out there.